and welcome back to the Hermitcraft FTV server. As you can see, my refinery is busily working away. The oil tank currently is full, and that's only because I've well, I'll, the uh, first oil well that I started on, it ran dry, and then I set up on a second one, and it ran dry, and now this is pumping oil from a third oil well and uh, got about uh, 784 buckets of fuel in here. I'm actually seriously thinking about putting another uh, one or two more refineries on here to kind of speed up the production. And right now though I'm thinking that I need to do something about putting this oil to use this fuel to use and uh, producing some power with it because I'm running into a serious need for power and yes you may notice that I'm using a portable hole now I've completed enough Thomcraft research to get that and it's so handy so much so that I don't need doors anymore this new building that I put together in fact doesn't have any and uh, this is not going to be the entirety of my bee setup. This is basically, I'm thinking of this as the bee laboratory. And I've got the first two apiaries that I got off that village, and I've made a few more. This one, I'm running the uh, Rocky Princess and Rocky Drones, which my quarries unearthed quite a number of. I mean, I've got almost a whole, like, half an iron chest full of rocky princesses and almost a stack of rocky drones so I'm doing pretty good there and let's see the quarry also unearthed some valiant princesses and valiant drones and I'm getting quite a lot from them Let's see, this was a rocky drone. I had a rocky princess in here. No, excuse me, I had a valiant princess in here. And uh, one of the offspring turned out something a little different. And let's see, a valiant, valiant here. Okay, there's something different about this one. It won't stack with that one. Alright, and I've got a few like that. I've got see here's a bunch of forest drones that I ended up with that were born out of uh, what I've been doing here these forest drones none of them will stack normally drones will stack so there's something different about these things and this valiant drone won't stack with the others and I don't know it might have been the other one that was different I should have kept them both and I've got a bunch of combs here. I've got a full stack of these cocoa combs in the centrifuge waiting to be processed. And they're waiting to be processed because I was running this off of a redstone energy cell, but that just wasn't enough. Uh, it, it ran dry and uh, I set it down here to recharge. And I figured, okay, while I'm recharging that one, I'd make three more. So I've got four redstone energy cells charging up here now and as you can see they're taking their sweet time so I need to get making up a lot more build craft power to run some of the stuff with and for that matter to charge those energy cells a lot faster and run the refinery and so on so I'm gonna get going with a steam boiler and I'm going I'm setting up here to make liquid fuel firebox that's this thing right here steel plate, iron bars, buckets, fire charges, and furnaces. And I set some steel cooking over here in the rolling machine to make, ah, here we go, steel plate. Okay, there's some more cooking. I might have enough for the moment here, at least to make these guys. Nine fireboxes, okay. And now I'm going to need steel plate, okay, like that. I'm going to need 36 of these. And that's going to take a little while to come up with the more steel needed to make them. And I think I better put another batch of steel. 
deal in the rolling machine because I obviously underestimated how much I need. Some more of this, but no, not in there. There. Okay, that's got me up to 28. Get enough to get 36 of them going, and I'm going to go ahead and let the rest of this steel process into. Well, maybe, maybe not. Uh, no, yes, no, no. Uh, some steel plate, some more steel plate, yes, but because I'll need some for st industrial steam engines. 35, okay, 36, that's enough tank pieces. Now for the industrial steam engines, industrial steam engines, here we go. I need steel gears, steel plates. If I recall correctly, I checked on the wiki, uh, it's like you can use 18 of these with a high pressure steam boiler. So I need to make 18 of these. I'll need 18 times 3 for steel plate, 36 steel gears, 18 pistons, and so on. So I'm going to go ahead and gather all this stuff together and we'll get cranking on some steam production. Alright, I think I've got everything together here, so we just pop out 36 gears. Oh, the pistons. Yes, of course. We need 18 pistons. And some cobble. Where is the redstone? Just exactly enough redstone. That's good. Alright, well, we've got 18 pistons. We have 36 gears. We have glass. And we have steel plates 18 times 3. 18 industrial steam engines. So that will be powered by the thing. Uh, let's see. I'm probably going to need some more liquid duct. Let's see. Let me look that up. Hardened glass and copper. Okay. to go make up some hardened glass real quick. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to get some hardened glass made up, get some more liquid duct, and then we'll get this steam boiler put together. Alright, I think I've got everything, and now I'm just going to grab a bunch of marble here. And I think what I'm going to do is just build another room out this way. Well, I don't suppose I need it take that down. I'm going to build an add-on room out here for the boiler. And since digging is such exciting work, I'll go ahead and take care of that and be back when I'm ready to actually put the boiler together. Alright, this ought to do for a boiler room. I don't know, it might be just a little bit narrow, but I think it'll work. Anyway, we've got our liquid fuel fireboxes. Set them down in a 3x3. Three three. And then we get our high pressure boiler. do that in a 3x3. Three three. Four blocks tall.
install. And it forms into the big multi block. Let's get some torches in here. Okay, and so there's our boiler interface. Now we need to run a supply of water in here, and for that, good old aqueous accumulator. Got one of those ready. A couple of buckets of water. All right, that's ready to go. Now let's get out some liquiduct. Oh, that's right, okay. It just needs to feed a wide of water in there like so. Wrench that. We have water going into the boiler. Water tank is filling. Okay, while the water tank is filling, we need another arrangement of liquid duct to bring the fuel in. Let's see, I'm going to dig in the absolutely one spot I needed to not dig. Okay. Move my dig over and I will fix this. And put my blue electric wire back. And apparently, one dropped. Oh, there it is. Okay. Alright, we'll need to run fuel over to here and up. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my liquid duct, of which I may not have enough. ceiling. There. Alright, over here. three pieces. I know I'm not going to have enough. Okay, let me get some more liquid duct here. Just need to grab a little bit of copper. Sleep till day, get rid of the night. If only because that keeps the solar panels running at peak efficiency. Let's see, hardened glass, here we go. More liquid duct. All right, now we have our fuel supply coming into the firebox. How's the water level? Doing good. Okay. Now. Let's arrange for the fuel to start moving. Well, I guess we're not going through there. Crowded floors. Alright, let's... 
Got a little platform to work on here. And all of that to put a lever in place that I don't have with me. Ugh. So handy. And oh, yes, wrench the pipe. Fuel was now flowing. Get up here. Floor. All right, here we go. Firebox is fueled. Temperature's coming up. It's running, and it will begin producing steam. All right, that's part of it. Now we need to get 18 steam engines. Get back here set up to be powered by this thing. And I think, let's see, yeah, this is going to it's going to take a while to build up a head of steam. So, while it's getting cooked up, let's see. Need energy conduit to handle the power. Let's see. wrenched around right. And wrench these into outputs. One short on liquid duct. Well, I'm going to need more of it anyway. I'm going to need more hardened glass. I think I had some more cooking. No, but I had some more obsidian pulverizing. Come on. Let's be quick about it. Oh, there's my liquid duct. Things show up in the wrong place, and you get in a hurry looking for them, and you just don't find them. Okay. All right. Water flow from the accumulator is now going right without going into the engines, because that would be bad. 
I am still going to need more liquiduct though. Let's see, how's this doing? 47C, no steam. It won't get any until it gets up to 100, if I'm not mistaken. Which makes sense because 100C is the boiling point of water. If I can manage to hit my little ledge correctly. thinking this should work okay. I don't know, I may be totally completely messed up here how am my thinking. There's some extra connections but I don't think that'll hurt anything. 62, okay this thing's gonna take a while to heat up so I'm gonna catch you when it is hot. All right, the boiler just now hit 100C, and it's beginning to build up the first little bits of steam. And I expect it's going to take a while before there is enough steam coming. Oh, wait a minute. Do I need to provide a redstone signal on these pipes? I didn't think of that. Perhaps I just need to wrench them to output. Which, of course, no, apparently. Oh, that's right. Unwrenched means don't care. Alright, so we have steam. And as the temperature goes up, the steam level will get really high. Let's see, these engines are not running. Maybe I do need to redstone these things. to take them all off again and uh, wrench them as I put them on. It's simply a matter of a redstone signal for the engines to start them up. Yeah, okay, not a problem. 
redstone signals will not be a difficulty at all. Except maybe set that one in the corner. Okay, now I'll run conduit. Back that way. Grab some more levers. Why not? They're cheap. And it seems I'm all the time needing anyway. that. Okay, looks like I'm taking a brief little break. Catch you in a bit. All right. Well, it's been a little bit of futzing around here, but uh, I have come up with an arrangement of these engines that is working. I had messed up the pipe, and that one is starting late, which is why it's out of sync with the rest of them, but it'll get up there. Meanwhile, the steam boiler is up to full steam literally and we have full temperature plenty of fuel and I have sent a power line in there and down below down below it goes to power the refinery and over here it's powering all this with uh, this area for charging energy crystals and of course the powered furnaces and pulverizers. I should probably run a line over here to power these machines. Either that or get them moved over there and eliminate the need for electrical engines. And I'll see about that. Uh, let's see. Taking a look down through here. The thing is running at full speed. We still have a full tank of oil, so there's a plentiful supply in this particular well, apparently. And it looks like, I think we're gaining fuel a little bit, okay, we're gaining f fuel a little faster than the boiler is burning it, which is fine. Had to get a little bit of creative over here to get these pipes to work and have room for the power conduits, but it worked out. And currently, I've made up, uh, I took some of those uh, energy cells over to the bee laboratory. And, uh, got, them, got some stuff processing. I got the centrifuge processing and all those combs up there. And once that's done, I'm going to get out the bealizer and start analyzing some of those bees and uh, figure out what's what and where I what direction I need to go with the uh, breeding and such. I didn't get all of the uh, engines hooked up. I've got uh, two more to hook up and uh, I'm probably going to end up expanding this room that way or working something out to fit them in somewhere. But I'm not going to fuss with it right now. Right now, uh, there's just a little bit of uh, change going on as Hermitcraft FTB server upgrades from the Mindcrack pack to the FTB Ultimate pack. And there's a lot of adventure there. Mistcraft, for one. I'm going to arrange a, uh, a couple of books that will take me all the way back to spawn and back without having to run 4,000 blocks. I'll only have to do it once. Isn't that wonderful? Anyway, that's about it for what's going on right now. There's a lot of uh, stuff to get used to. 
a, a few changes here and there like for example equivalent exchange 3 and uh, so on so there's a lot going on and I have a lot of work to do with these bees and I will be definitely keeping you all updated on the bee progress I noticed in the comments there were several people that were actually quite interested in that so I will make it a point to keep everybody updated on the bee progress and uh, what I'm doing and what I figure out as I go I'm also going to try not to overwhelm everybody that doesn't like the bees with them. And so, thanks for watching. Take it easy. I'm out of here.